What's going on guys, Tech Tosh here, back at you guys with another unboxing. This time we're upgrading the sound quality to my home office setup gaming station. I did quite a bit of reviews to my home spot, which is Amazon. Uh, shout out to Amazon as always. I was looking for a mid-range to lower end quality price range, I should say, speakers. I wasn't trying to spend any more than within 100, 120 bucks for some speakers, hoping to find some decent quality speakers. And I came across a couple speakers that were on sale and I wasn't familiar with the brand, so I did my search on the brand. And you know how that goes. Long story short, I come across these guys. These are the Eris E3.5. Uh, these are the smaller brothers of like three different models. Uh, they show them right here on the front. They got the E4.5, the E5, E8, E44, and the E66. So you can see the different models right there. So obviously the one highlight is the one I got. You get the bigger brother right here. And this was $100 more. So obviously I'm sticking around here. This was my price range. Uh, these were $100 without tax and shipping. So it was $100. Good thing I got Amazon Prime, so I don't gotta pay for shipping. For the $100 price range, they had almost five stars. So it was like 4.5. I'll post up the review uh, at the moment. Great reviews. I mean, I even watched some YouTube comparisons. I guess there was another brand when I was comparing it, what my next option was going to be. But the first brand I was looking for was Full of Bass. Uh, I'll post those on the screen. It was the Logitech 623s. Those, it comes with a subwoofer. They have two speakers, great quality. The bass is amazing from what I heard for what you're paying for. Uh, but it was real bassy, that's the thing. And uh, it can distort the uh, mids and highs if you turn up the speakers too loud. The bass obviously overwhelms it. These are on a whole different bracket. These are more so for the quality bass rather than just like you feeling it in your chest type music or gaming, however you tend to use these speakers. Uh, these are kind of going to be both for me. But yeah, you getting clarity with these. Uh, you're hearing the highs, the mids, the lows. Almost like a bookshelf style speaker. I'm not a soundologist over here. So I'm just kind of regurgitating what I've reviewed. I just want to do an unboxing, be able to show you guys what the speakers look like and give you my recommendations and, and the compare and contrast what I went through and what speakers I was debating on getting and why I chose what I actually chose. So hopefully it can help somebody else out because I know there weren't really specific videos when I was looking. Without further ado, we're gonna get into this unboxing. I'm gonna show you guys the quality. Here's the one side of the box, back side of the box, other side of the box, and of course the front. And you the top. All right, so let's get right into it guys. Hopefully, I don't need any extra parts and I'll be able to hook these up today so I can test these out. All right, as always with every product, it's some type of user manual, but these look like sticky pads. You can stick on the bottom of the speakers. Get those. Not much going on in the box. The speakers just, just about it. Here's the speakers in one. I'll take it out and show you guys. Guys and gals. You also get the power cord. Nothing left in the box. So we don't need that. And then let's open it up and find out specifically for you guys. Okay, so yeah, it's the red audio cord with the aux end. And then you got the aux cable on each end. And then of course, like I said, the wiring to connect the two speakers. So, not much going on in there. But, this is all we really wanted. So it comes in that smooth, let me get a little closer for you guys. So it comes in that smooth black, matte black I should say, finish on the front. Uh, it's a different kind of paint on that front panel right here. And then on the back, it's like a, uh, it's not quite matte as matte as it is on the front, but it gives it almost like a little two-tone, which is pretty clean. Of course, they said you get a carbon fiber 
style speaker so it's not some cheap cone which uh, definitely will improve the quality as I was stating before people were saying this has some amazing quality for 100 bucks uh, on the front you also get the power switch aux in and then the headphone volume and then like a little tweeter or whatever it is. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a soundologist over here. And then of course you got the airflow for whatever bass it does offer. Uh, so on the attachments, this is where you would connect the speakers. More attachments for you. Uh, you can control, that's another thing why these are great, because you control the highs and the lows to your liking. I'll have to tinker with that. I don't know what settings are best for what. And then of course the power port. But yeah, these are these are clean. These are real clean. So I bought specific shelves for these. So I can show them off. I might as well show you the other one. It's exactly the same without all of the notches. clean so the sizing I mean about the size I don't know I, I guess you can compare and contrast the way it is but I can't really relate it with something for you guys but it's not too big not too small for me at least for the uses uh, like I said I'm not gonna be using it for high-end studio work this is just for my gaming for the video editing obviously listening to some music a little bit of everything, you know, just a basic home setup. Uh, this is my office as well as my gaming setup. This will benefit me for sure. Uh, I, I was using just cheap little aux cord, $30 computer speaker. So it's definitely an upgrade for sure. So I won't be disappointed. Like I said, these are great. So if, if, if I like these, I can obviously upgrade them with the uh, larger quality speakers and add it to the collection so I have even, even better uh, surround sound going on. Or I can just get the subwoofer for these if that's what I just want to do. The options are not endless, but we have more options. So this is a great choice. I mean, if you're looking to add something simple or if you're looking to later on upgrade down the line, this is a good starting point and that's what I was looking for. So I'm gonna hook these up, put up my shelves. I think I'm gonna put them one right there, one right there maybe so i'll give you guys an update on as far as where i put them and how they sound wow niggas been cramping my style blowing my high they want to reply the number one question is how how does it feel now that you won't how many bitches be asking where have you done lately i stacked a few it's like my last name was shady my life is too crazy no ad to go play me my life is too crazy no ad to go play me love two days gone digital and it's messing with my out now i can definitely give these two thumbs up for the price that you're paying and the quality that you're getting these are perfect i mean i can't even really give any negatives about them they look great the only thing i can say is if this isn't your thing they're a little too small maybe you want something bigger but other than that i mean you can't really knock these speakers I mean, they get super loud for sure the quality is great don't mind the wires i gotta hide the wires it looks a little it's coming down this has to go to the computer so i love them got them hooked up i'm ready to roll i mean i've been bumping music games everything i hear everything clearly it's not much if there's nothing to really knock about these speakers uh, they look great they're stylish little speakers. Uh, they can all, they're small enough to where they can fit on your computer desk. But as you, as you can see, I don't really have much room. So I give these things 10 out of 10 for, for what they do and, and the quality that they put out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully I was able to help you guys out with any concerns as far as what speakers you guys want. But you can't go wrong with these bad boys. I mean, you can see them right there. Look at them shine. They're great speakers, guys. So if you have any comments, concerns, comment down below. If you guys like this video and I was able to help you out with your decision, hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more videos like this, a lot more videos like this. So be sure to look out for that. Hit that bell button at the top if you happen to subscribe so that way you get notified with my latest video that I come out with. But with all that said, y'all have a wonderful day. Stay nerdy. Peace.